Can you please introduce yourself and tell us uh, the platform or the organization you represent? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Tommy Oladiji. I am a legal counsel at Tetra for Energy Group Limited, a uh, gas uh, distribution company. We supply natural gas to industrial and commercial concerns in different solutions, CNG, PNG, and LNG as well. So, yeah. Okay, so can you tell us, talk about your biggest achievements, or the biggest giant strides you've achieved since the formation of the company? Uh, in fact, um, even though we're relatively like under five, five, six years, we have made giant strides in the industry. So, for instance, um, like I said, we currently supply over 60 million scope of gas, natural gas, you know, to different concerns. Also, we recently launched our CNG facility that's doing about 3.1 million scope per day. And uh, for us, as, as a company, we're looking to solving the energy problems that we have. You know, some of the conversations we've had today have been around energy access, energy security, and we believe that uh, with our uh, solutions, uh, CNG solution, we'll be able to solve the problems, the energy problems that we have. So these are some of the strides, uh, remarkable strides, you know, if, if you ask me, that we've made. We also recently, today, in fact, had the groundbreaking of LNG facility. You know, when you look at LNG, you are looking at energy access for um, areas without um, your typical traditional um, energy infrastructure. So that's what makes us different. Even as a company. Okay, so then there's also a current conversation about gas usage in Nigeria. Nigeria is currently in the decade of gas era, and a lot of people have been advised to leverage more on gas. We've heard that Nigeria is more of a gas country with a little bit of oil and the rest of it. So, how would you advise Nigeria to leverage more? In terms of our gas potential, connecting specifically to some of the products or some of the services your friends have been rendering in terms of providing solutions to either household or company regarding that. Okay, um, you know, part of the conversation that we've had today have been around policy implementation. I think currently, as it stands, if you look at the legislation that we have and the initiatives by the federal government. We have all it takes to harness our gas potential. So it's all about, you know, recognizing that oh, the initiatives are there already in play. You know, if you look at the decade of gas, you know, if you look at the current PCNGI um, by the federal government, they they are they are good enough to set up on a great start, you know, when it comes to um, energy access, energy security. So we just need to plug into what the federal government has provided for us. And also by private players like ourselves, we're already leveraging on these initiatives. So, you know, whether manufacturers, you know, whatever industry you play in, and, you know, you need clean alternative, you know, an alternative to fossil fuel. A company like ours, you know, is just the perfect option, you know, and I'm not being biased, it's, it's just the truth. If you look at the economics, you know, natural gas is something, is a resource that companies should leverage on when it comes to energy. So what are the long-term targets of your friend? Where do you, so if you're looking at the crystal ball now, where would you see your friend in the next five to six years? Time? So in the next five to six years, um, Tetraco, from what we currently do, I believe that, I strongly believe that in the next five to six years, we will be a notable energy provider, even not just in Nigeria, in Africa, you know, because we have growing footprints also in certain parts of Africa, Ghana, Tanzania, Equatorial Guinea. And also, for us as a company, we are in the next five to six years, we look, um, we're looking rather at training the next set of energy professionals, thought leaders. We've started, we you know, started with a GMT program. We also have um, our R&D team that are looking towards, okay, you know what, what technology can we, because we're talking about new energies these days, we're talking about renewable energies, and you know, you know that technology plays a significant role in renewable. So we, when it comes to energy, you know, whether um, through OEMs, whether through policy, and the name that you will hear in five, six years to come will definitely be Tetra. Okay, we look forward to hearing more of you. Thank you so much.